Hey everyone, Rick here with Rick's 135 Scale Malls with part two of my Leopard 2A5 build in a 1999 Bundeswehr Kosovo deployment scheme. I have in the first video I built the model and got it ready, and in this part I'm going to be painting the model, painting the figures uh, from there detailing it, weathering it, making it look um, pretty much completed and then in the third part of the video I'll be building a small diorama for this model to be placed on. Uh, but going to this video what I need to do is begin the painting process. Now I've already primed it and I use this light gray Tamiya surface primer and a lot of times I will use the uh, rust one but in this one I'm using this because what I'm going to be trying to accomplish is the two-tone look and the faded look. So the first stage after priming it will be taking this flat enamel black and putting lines along the areas where you want the pigment to change in the color and I'll demonstrate that in the uh, process. From there I'll take my Tamiya Nato Green and I will lightly paint the whole vehicle trying to help that two-tone look come through and then follow it up with my NATO brown and NATO black. These are all acrylics for the NATO green, NATO brown, NATO black uh, but this is an enamel for this because I want it to kind of come through a little more. Um, like I said I've got it all primed. Uh, when it comes to painting the bogey wheels I'll be using this tool to paint them and it's pretty neat because you just take your bogey wheels put them in there and then you can paint your other colors. First I'll be having to paint the rubber part and I'll be using the same black color to paint where the uh, rubber part of the tread is. Then uh, after that's dried I will be putting it in the little jig and painting it. And once everything's all cured and dried from there I'm going to be using different enamels to create some washes, do a little bit of uh, grubbing it up, dirtying it, uh, putting a little bit of wear and tear on it, nothing major, and then uh, getting all the decals and everything put on. I also have to do the tow cables that attach back here. I do those after. Uh, it just seems to be easier for me to do it that way. Uh, but let's get started.
So let's take a look at the completed stage we're at now. So what I've done is I have built the model, painted the model, detailed the model, added the camo netting, and all the modifications. This stage is pretty much complete. Uh, as you can see, I've dusted up the side from going down the dirty road, kind of in their intermixed look you'll see. Um, I've got the camouflage netting installed. Uh, overall, all the decals done. One of the things I did is if you look at a lot of the pictures of these vehicles when they were deployed, um, they wiped down the areas to show the decals from all the dust. So I tried to simulate that here. Uh, all the PE sheet uh, add-on modifications. Uh, in the back I've added some bob wire hanging on the sides. That's from when I made the antennas. Also flipping up the uh, mud flaps and then the side skirt protectors to give the uh, drive sprockets a clear uh, path to move. I've added the cloth that goes on the back that's uh, airborne protection to uh, indicate a friendly force from the airborne units. Uh, one of the things you will notice and that's going to dry is uh, there's a little bit of white in here. That's a uh, clear product I put in there to uh, make it look a little nicer. Uh, it just takes a couple days to dry and I didn't want to wait too long. I um, also drilled out the little holes here where the flags go in for uh, during training exercises. Um, added the PE sheets for the MG machine gun on the roof. I've also tipped it up where you'll see that a lot. Um, took out the uh, rods that go in here. A lot of the pictures I showed did show those in there. Uh, drilled out the barrel so you don't have that little uh, plastic piece inside that looks real bad. Um, and then once again, the camouflage netting around the turret area on top of the front. Uh, overall, it's uh, kind of a summertime look, dry, dusty. Um, trying to simulate the colors that they had down in Kosovo, the dirt. Uh, they looked a lot more dusty with a hint of a yellow in all the pictures I've seen. Um, so that's kind of the look I've got. At the end of this video, I'm going to have some uh, close-up detailed pictures to get a little clearer look at the model. Uh, the next stage is going to be painting the figures uh, in the camel pattern. Uh, I've got to simulate the uh, color that the uh, netting was on the uh, material. Um, then from there, I'm going to build the diorama that it's going to sit on, which at this point is going to be kind of a roadblock location. Uh, this vehicle's parked on uh, with some bob wire in the front of it. Um, also, I'm going to try and uh, make some flags because a lot of them had a German flag or a Bavarian, uh, one of the units from Bavaria. They had a flag you saw in the back hanging up here. So that's where I'm at. I hope you liked the video. Any questions or comments, please reach out to me and let me know. Also check me on my Facebook page. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can email me on my email. All these links will be attached to the video. Take care and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.